All right, friends, subscribers, and internet strangers, what's up? Haven't done one of these videos in a while and someone requested one. Do I have things laying around? Return from Amazon? Uh, yeah, so let's see. I've got this stack here. That's three. I got three more plus two. So we've got we got eight boxes to open. This is what not to buy, or what the hell did Amazon customers return this time? So ought to be very interesting. Most of these boxes have multiple um, things in them. As soon as I say that one, this one has one. So this is a Strawbees. It was on clearance at Barnes & Noble, I think. I think I paid a couple bucks for it. This one, they had IP claim issues or something, and so I went ahead and yanked mine. So when you see people that are complaining, and if you, that's why I say to join some of these forums and groups that talk about IP, Amazon suspensions and that kind of stuff because very, very proactive. This company was going after folks and before they could get the old beard, I deleted the listing and brought everything back home. So I'll sell it on eBay. Or I'll throw, I just sent one of these to the local auction. So, all right. One from that side, one from this side. Usually these are bras. This is closed. Can't wait to, will it pass the sniff test? <laughs> Oh, bra. So this is one, there's no other label on it, so this is one that has just my label on it. <coughs> so we know that it was not gone anywhere other than to Amazon and back, so no use to sniff because nobody had it. All right. It's always good when you, you can fill a box that they have put inside of this. Not only is the box squishy, but there's something loose in there too. It gives you a lot of confidence in Amazon. You know, new must be new. Well, except when we return you your product, it can be whatever the hell it is, right? So this is a destroyed Minnie Mouse mat. The customer was nice enough to throw a label on it and send it back, so I appreciate that. Whoever you are, right? So there's no telling what their little mongrel did to this mat. <laughs> they didn't return. So they didn't return the battery cover. They didn't, batteries, nothing. They just... Yeah, so what do you want to bet this works? At the end, I'll throw about three batteries in it. We'll see what's up, right? All right. Next, the returns department. This is a this is a market fulfill item. I got a feeling this is the one that the lady. Uh, no, not the same one. There was one crazy lady I was having problems with. This particular item, because I know, I'm pretty comfortable, I know where it is. Yep. It looks to be in pretty good shape, even though the box sucks. Let's see if they messed with it. So you can tell that it was messed with, because the cables and everything are all undone. But everything else is still here. This will most likely go used on a, on eBay or local auction. I'll test it to make sure it does work because I don't know why they returned it. I can't remember. I generally don't. I have all the returns turned on, so I don't ever look at the reasons. Because if they're going to send it back, they're going to send it back. Okay, so this little guy here is a phone. They ripped the package up. They tore it up. This is what I get back. They didn't even try to, 
I don't understand. Why would you tear the package up and then send it back? The nice thing about Merchant Fulfill is this would have cost them. So. Works fine. Nothing wrong with it. One for the collection, right? That goes anything that I can't use. I'm not going to throw it in a landfill. I'm going to donate it. Somebody at a thrift store. Somebody can. Somebody's kid can play with that. There's nothing wrong with that little phone. All right. What in the world could this be? It's like Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. Okay, so first off, even though I do have rolls of paper, I'm going to use this. That's good packing material, right? Okay, so it made it back without being destroyed. I don't know how that got shipped to Amazon, to a customer, and back. And the only worst for wear is they ripped the little hanging tag off here, whatever that... Oh, that was where my tag was. I don't know. That must have been where my tag was. Yeah, because I have a blank one on the back. I'll clean that up and sell it new on eBay. If I only had a phone so we could look at the value of it on eBay. Ta -ta -ta. So to look up the value on eBay, we're just simply going to type this into the eBay app. It is Corporal. Dang it. I hate that every time I open the app, Samsung has got to put their little discount. See, if you start typing Corporal Josh, this guy is Corporal Josh. Uh, Coolant something, it'll, it'll auto fill for you. So we're going to hit. All right. So as you start to type in it, it auto fills and here's how many are for sale. There are currently 12 of these for sale. $21, $23, $27 pre-owned 19. So we don't care how many are for sale. Let's see if I'm going to hit the completed button because it's good to know that we have 12 for sale. How many am I sold? Oh, somebody got 23, 19, 18, 95. So they are getting these and they're selling this month, 23, 95. So not every return is bad, folks. This right here, we'll go on eBay. The reason why it's not gonna go on Amazon, I'm a little bit of a distance, but you, the corner's got just a touch bent. So there's a perfect good eBay item. And since this is Jacob's room, this is my office plus Jacob lists eBay in here. So he'll list this tonight. Next. Not every box. And they, did y'all see the size of that box? They used an N3 to ship this. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. This one has a dreaded battery signal on it. We never know what's going to be in here. It's probably a phone. <laughs> I told you I'm psychotic. So this is a return of a AT&T prepaid. It's still got a sticker on it. And the one good thing I can tell you is look right here. See where you open it. They just returned this phone. They never open it. It's a Alcatel Smart Flip. So, beard. This is going. I'm on Merchant Fulfill this right now. I'm going to show you how easy Merchant Fulfill is. So, we're going to do a. I'm going to type in A T and T Alcatel. And they got Smart Flip all as one word. Restricted? What? Maybe that's why, but that's not the re reason why I came back because it, so I was, I was not restricted the last time. I am restricted now. What? You cannot sell this product in new condition. Oh my gosh. Sad beard. I'm a failure that I'm restricted. What? i oh, never fear. Two apps on the phone, right? Let's cheat. AT&T Alcatel Smart Flip. All right, so 
I'm going to go back to the completed. $51. It was $54 on Amazon. It's $51 on eBay. Winning. Not everything's a loss, guys. You've got... I try to make these return videos to show you that returns, you know, in the comments, I do a return video. Oh my God, that's why I quit. People are so crazy. They return. Who loses? If you quit, who loses? You need to get in a proper mindset and really understand returns and understand how much did you actually lose? Did I lose the $54 or I've got $7 in this? That was how much I paid for it. And it's still not lost. So far, I have lost 50 cents to send it to Amazon and 50 cents to send it back. I'm a dollar out right now. This guy here, I'm a dollar out right now. So these two items, I'm winning, right? So, so far, half of the items, and I've got two more boxes to go, are sellable, are going to be listed tonight, and should sell this week on, I throw it on Instagram when I sell these things. Because I want to show you You've got to think positive. You've got to work through these things. Keep a business mindset. It's all part of reselling. Returns, natural retail sales. Remember, even though we don't like to think of ourselves as retail sellers, we have all the hallmarks and characteristics of retail sellers. We just do it online. So returns are part of the game, right? People change their minds for, for whatever reason. Don't let it bother you too much. Especially if you're going to sell... Uh, cell phones because people are wishy-washy somebody got that and thought oh my god i can't i, I didn't really mean to order a, a flip phone some old person like me <laughs> now this one is a different story here they sent all the parts back to to this spider-man remote so what happened, probably Little or Junior or whatever name we're going to call him, probably destroyed this damn thing. Let's see if it works first. First of all, the on-off switch does not move very good, so that tells me that they probably destroyed it. Oh yeah, they've done, and something's happened to it. I don't know if they did it or what, but the the switch does not go on and off anymore. When you move it, the switch jiggles. So yeah, that thing's total loss. Four bucks plus shipping and stuff. So five bucks, you know, with return shipping, maybe seven or eight. So maybe 10 or $11. It's not the end of the world. That means if that one was bad, oh, plus I got the bra over there and the game return. So four of the items are still new, right? I don't think we're gonna have good luck with this one. <laughs> it rattles too much. Y'all like my new Bigfoot hat? I know Steve likes it. Steve Alcorn flips. They like a big fat hat. Was I was wrong. Bearded Picker was wrong today. And it's so early in the day for me to be wrong. But you know what that means? For the rest of the day, I can be very confident because I'm going to be right for the rest of the day. Because I'm only wrong once a day. <laughs> Unless you ask Joni. Shh. The rattling around was Legos. This Lego box, which everybody knows if you've done Legos, the boxes are very fragile. There's not a dent, mark, scrape. It went to the customer and came back and look at it. So, I see my mistake. This was not a customer fault. This was probably my fault. I forgot to take the security stick off the front of it. It says Dollar General right here in the front. That probably made somebody mad or they thought they overpaid. So this return, I know you're sitting there thinking, damn, beard wrong twice in one day. I'm gonna quit making videos. Folks, this is the end of my video career. I was wrong in one day and it's live on camera. Damn it. Okay, so I was wrong on this one some other day. 
Because when I send it in, right, we can count. All right. That was close. I was almost wrong twice in the same day. All right. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've, I've tried to instill some comedy. I've tried to instill, let you look at this as, it's just not that serious, folks. Returns happen. You know, understand what the cost of doing business are. And like it or not, learn to accept it. Learn to deal with it. Because the opportunity is so great to sell, to live a lifestyle, to support your family, to be a side hustle, to be whatever. Don't let a bad apple or a couple bad circumstances ruin what you're building. Roll Tide. See you in the next video.